Think about how good it feels to take a hot bath. Think about how good it feels to be at the ocean when it's really warm outside. My name is Kathy Chen Rennie, and I am the owner and head swim coach of the Rec Center. A lot of times I think the dogs just kind of, they're like, what? Well, I don't know what this is. It's a bath. Oh no, <laughs> you know. Instead of just tossing the dog in the pool and having them panic and try to swim out, we have a whole process to try to make it much nicer. As of right now, we have Canon Aquatic Fitness. We also offer the pool as just kind of an open swim for dogs who really like to swim. And then we have massage, acupressure, nutritional consulting. We also have Reiki, which is a Japanese form of energy healing. People think it's kind of weird a little bit. We play the soothing music and have usually aromatherapy stuff going. Some of it's for the parents, you know, to be able to have them chill out a little bit. Um, sometimes the parents are more worried than the dog is. This is our fourth week of being open and our busiest week we swam 13 dogs in a weekend. Most of my marketing is going to be through vets. What I'm hoping really is that they will talk to people. They'll send us maybe one or two of their clients. I don't necessarily only want those dogs, but I definitely know that that's going to be part of our target market is the dogs that have had orthopedic surgery. My name is Heather Sanders and my company is Wags and Wellness and I operate out of the Rec Center. The Wags and Wellness is my private practice. I do canine holistic therapies, so I'm certified in small animal massage as well as small animal acupressure. I'm the only certified small animal acupressurist in the Bay Area. If you've had a massage before, you're probably familiar with that, you know, where there's tension, it's slightly uncomfortable. So, you know, for every dog, it's going to be a little bit different. You know, where they have tension, that it might feel good for them to be massaged. It might also be an area that's a little bit more sensitive for them. A lot of what I do is really reading body language and, and reading the dog's signals. And you really have to have good skills in reading and, and understanding the animal because they can't communicate that to you. My name's Luisa Cravioto. I am an independent contractor who works for Kathy. Most dogs who have not been swimming before will be uncertain. It's not that they don't want to swim, they just are unfamiliar with the, the pool, the noises, the smell. So by taking our time and gently introducing the water the first time, the dog will say, oh, this is fine, and will then understand it's okay to swim. There are a few cases where the dogs just, for whatever reason, do not take to it, and then we don't press the issue. Well, for those who love it, you can't get them out of there, but for them, you don't want to make sure they don't overdo it. 25-minute swim sessions more than enough exercise. For those dogs that are kind of achy and don't do a lot of swimming, maybe an hour is appropriate because sometimes just being in the water is therapeutic enough. So just doing light massage and cradling the dog and the owner cooing is just, it makes for a nice session.